Hi everyone, my name is Shiloh Brandenburg and I'm a librarian at the Katy Branch. Joining me today is... Uh, my name is Lorena Suarez, uh, I volunteer at the Katy Library and I also started the Anime Club. Yeah, so if you ever come by Anime Club at the Branch, which is usually on Tuesday afternoons, these are the two faces that you're going to see. Uh, we thought we'd take this opportunity today to talk about some new anime that are starting this season. And for those of you who don't know, every three months is a different anime season. So we just finished the winter season and we're starting the spring season. And that runs April, May, and June. Um, and there's some rollover, some brand new stuff, and there's a lot that I'm really looking forward to. So uh, if you don't mind, I guess I'll go ahead and get started. Take it away. <laughs> All right. So the first one that I'm really excited about is Tower of God. Now, this actually started as a webtoon rather than a manga, like some other things mostly do. Um, so the artwork style is a little bit different, which makes it really interesting. Now, there's only one episode out, so um, it could go either way. But the one episode was really cool. And uh, the artwork in it, because it was a little bit different, was more dynamic. And so it kind of drew my eye to it a little bit more. Uh, the story follows this main character here. And he finds himself in this tower. And every level of the tower has different challenges, different things that he has to beat. And he's trying to get to the top of the tower to find the woman that he loves. And she actually is in the tower somewhere trying to pursue her own dream and her own goals. Now along the way, he meets some of these other characters and they're all trying to accomplish their own things. So there's some conflict and there's a lot of action and monsters and cool stuff happening. And so I'm really excited to see where they go with this. It, it looks like it's gonna be really cool. And now that you mention it, the animation looks a lot similar to like the webtoon. Oh, does it really? Yeah, a little bit. It looks like very similar. So I'm really excited how the animation, like how, it, how it's going to look or how it looks. So yeah, it kind of makes it just like a little, a little different from some of the other stuff that's out right now. Yeah, because you know how like some manga, like the characters are way different than like, like the anime. Yeah. But, but yeah, but I was taking a look at this and I was like, yeah, they look pretty similar. So yeah, it's it's gonna be really cool, um, and I think the I think the second episode comes out today, so I will be watching that tonight. Um, well, I'll catch up. Changing gears a little bit, the next one I want to talk about is more of a rom com, less of a fantasy action, and this is called My Next Life as a Villainess: All Routes Lead to Doom, and this is based on a manga that I actually personally own and I have been following for a couple of years, so. I'm really excited to see that it got its time in the sunlight and it's being turned into an anime. Uh, the story follows this person here in blue with the earrings. And uh, she is an otaku girl in the real world and she dies and wakes up in this other world. And as she goes along, she starts noticing some weird things and discovers that she's actually in an otome game. And if you don't know what that is, that's a Japanese dating simulation game. And instead of being the main love interest of the game, she's actually the villain of the game. And she does not want to be the villain because the villain either gets exiled or gets killed, depending on what routes the main person playing the game takes. So she does all of these silly things, trying to make sure that no matter what happens, she's prepared. Uh, so, for example, she starts gardening because she thinks that even if she gets exiled and she can grow her own food and she'll still be good. Um, and as she's doing all of these things, all of these kind of other characters sort of notice her and start being really interested in her and she is completely oblivious. And so it just, it makes for a really funny story and I'm, I'm really excited to see what they do with the anime and how they kind of make those jokes bigger, I guess, like yeah. more, um, more in your face. I don't know, but I'm excited yeah. to see what they do with that. Yeah, this one actually, like, it sounds pretty cute. It looked cute. I'm a sucker for rom com, so, like, mm -hmm. I'm definitely going to be watching this one for sure. I might, I might catch up on the manga, too, you know? <laughs> I know, and, and they, I don't think we've really had a good, um, sort of rom com, like, new rom com out in a while, because we had Fruits Basket, but, um, I can't oh. really think of any other ones recently. Yeah, uh, Fruits, Basket, Fruits Basket second season comes out as well this, uh, 
Oh, uh, this, like this month? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I believe so. Oh. Yeah, some of their next books. I know that I saw it on here, but yeah, I guess we got to look out for that one too. I know. I'm, I'm, this season, this is going to be a good season. Um, so are you ready? Do you want to talk about yours? Yeah, I'm ready. What I'm going to talk about is Sword Art Online Elicitation War of the Underworld. So it has a mix between a little bit of romance and a whole lot of action. So if you haven't heard of Sword Art Online, it is a virtual reality game where people control their avatars, excuse me, and they have to be all 100 floors, defeat the final boss to beat the game. But while people are playing this game, the logout button disappears. And so now they have to fight for their life because if they die in the game, they die in real life. So yeah, these people throughout the first, second, third season have to deal with this. And it has its moments and it's really good. I can't say much because I mean, it's just, it's gonna spoil it, you know? So yeah. um, there's a lot of action. There's a lot of like epic sword fights like throughout the anime and it's pretty good. There's also a change of pace, you know, around second season where there's like guns involved. So. Okay. That's as far as I'm going to say, you know, because, yeah. Um, yeah. But I mean, it, look at how cool this poster is. Like, it, it, it's so awesome. Like, they've got, you know, just so much happening, and you can just tell that it's, it's going to be really intense. Yeah, like, new characters are introduced. Um, and you know, like, sometimes when villains are introduced, you kind of hate them, but mm -hmm. they're also, like, lovable. It's like, with a lot of these villains, you kind of just hate them. Like, you don't really like them at all. You, you just straight hate them, you know? And I honestly, that's what I kind of like about this anime, because, you know, I always have that thing where, like, oh, you know, like, Orochimaru from Naruto, or, like, Frieza from Dragon Ball. Like, people be like, oh, yeah, they're cool villains, or whatever, blah, blah, blah. It's kind of like, well, we don't have to like them because they're villains, you know? Like, I yeah. don't know it's just this weird thing it's like now nah, these ones you just straight hate them you're like wow I hate this guy like let's not like just kill him you know or something yeah, like you, you can leave now that's fine <laughs> yeah he's a villain for a reason like yeah, yeah. So, definitely like uh the technology like through the seasons kind of like drastically changes so I that's what I kind of like about this anime yeah you know I'm like old school well, virtual reality isn't like old school but it goes to like the old kind of virtual reality, like the first generation, and then it just, yeah, it just gets way more intense, so. Very cool. That's my pick for this season. Yeah, um, I think all three of these shows are going to be awesome. Uh, so the shows, again, that we talked about are Tower of God, My Next Life is a Villainess, All Roads Lead to Doom, Roads Lead to Doom, the, I think the manga is, um, all something about like all red flags or something the name's like slightly different so it throws me off but um so my next life is a villainess tower of god and the new season of sword art online um, yeah there's and there's a ton of other stuff that's coming out too those are just the three that we're kind of most excited about and i am super sad that my hero academia has ended for the season and that it's coming back i think we decided october of this yeah, year? October 2020, yes. Okay, yeah, 15. so I'll, I'll, I guess I'll just wait, but that's okay. That means it'll come back better than ever, and it's always good to give the artists a break, or you end up in a Black Clover situation with, like, two straight years of animation, and I can't even imagine what's going on in that studio right now. Um. <laughs> Are you in, like, Noragami, like, that third season hasn't showed up, like, all this time, and I'm still waiting, like... <laughs> Yep. Like, what y'all doing? Come on. <laughs> yep. So, um, you know, lots, lots of good things are coming. And hopefully we'll be back in the library soon and you can join us and we can all watch these things together. Uh, we want to give a shout out to Crunchyroll. Uh, they're an anime streaming service and they make it possible for us to have anime clubs. So they're the reason that we get anime shows to show people in the library, or they're the reason people are streaming Anime Club right now. Uh, HCPL just started a Twitch, so there's people streaming anime on there if you wanna check it out. Um, if we're, so we're really thankful to them. But if you have anything that maybe you're excited about for the season, if you watch any of these shows and you love them, leave us a comment, let us know. Um, especially if it's new stuff, because I know I'm always looking for new recommendations. I'm down for it too. <laughs> I, 
can't say no to anime. <laughs> so we'll just have an epic watch party and then maybe we'll come back with another video and you can have more of our random opinions. So um, thanks for tuning in. Like I said, leave us a comment, let us know what you think, and we will see you next time. Bye guys. <laughs> Bye.